Test one, two, test one, two. Annie, do you hear me? Testing, one, two, three, four. You good? Good to meet you. Yeah. Okay, good morning everybody. Everybody ready to go? Okay, welcome to the Grossmont Union High School District and to Grossmont High School. My name is Colin McGlashan, the Director of Public Information here for the Grossmont Union High School District, and I have the honor of introducing to you Superintendent Teresa Kemper. 
Thanks, Colin. Welcome, everybody, to Grossmont High School. And by the way, this year, Grossmont High School is 100 years old, so we're happy to celebrate our centennial, and what a way to do it today. As Colin said, I'm Teresa Kemper, superintendent of the Grossmont Union High School District, and I had the unique privilege of serving as principal here at Grossmont High School until 2012, which means I was principal for the entirety of Joe Musgrove's illustrious career as a foothiller. We are, of course, very proud of Joe's historic achievement and all that he's accomplished on the baseball field. But we're even more proud of how he stays connected with our students and how much he cares for his community. To us, this mural that we're unveiling today honors both Joe's historic achievement and the person he has become. Before I introduce our next speaker, I'd like to recognize a few guests we have today. Joe Musgrove's baseball coach here at Grossmont High School, Mr. Jim Early. Grossmont High School Foundation President Amy Conrad. From the Grossmont Museum and Alumni Association, Connie Bear and Lynn Bear. And members of our Grossmont High School Foothillers baseball team. We have Max Coldwalder, Justin Brown, Isaiah Gomez, and Evan Vassalou. Thank you for being here. From San Diego Padres Association, Craig Huner, Chris Connolly, Christian Vaca, Matt Thomas, Emma Sharon, and Daryl Mendoza. And the person I am very honored to introduce now, San Diego Padres Chief Executive Officer, Eric Gruppner. Welcome, Eric. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Superintendent Kemper. Uh, I want to start off uh, today by thanking a few people for the effort that went into making this mural possible and on the expedited timeline. As I run into people that are finding out about the mural, the first comment I hear is, wow, that was fast. And uh, it would not have been possible if we didn't have the great support of Superintendent Kemper, Principal Barnes, who you're going to hear from in a moment. On the Padres team, our Senior Vice President of Marketing, Chris Conley, our uh, Director of Fan Engagement, Gerald Mendoza. We were on the phone beginning Friday night. I joke with Chris that he's lucky that we actually got the no-hitter because he called me before it officially happened to talk about this, <laughs> which uh, as people know in baseball, we're all very superstitious. And so thankfully Chris and I didn't jinx it by having that conversation. Uh, and it actually happened finally. Uh, but Chris and Daryl were instrumental in making this happen and working with the school district. And then last but not least, I want to acknowledge and thank uh, Paul Jimenez and his uh, partners at Ground Floor Murals, uh, Sina and Yesenia, who are here today and did a beautiful job with this mural. We found out about Ground Floor Murals and Paul and Senia earlier uh, during the pandemic when out of a, a place of uh, sort of loss of employment and gaining um, you know, a new purpose in the pandemic, they created this beautiful work of art, Mr. Padre Tony Gwynn with the mural downtown. And it really united San Diegans at a very difficult time as we were in, in the, the deep throes of the pandemic. So for their art and um, the, the beautiful things they create to bring San Diego together around the Padres and their love of the Padres is a gift to us as a franchise. So I just want to say thank you to them and we're incredibly excited to continue to work with you on more of these murals. So thank you for what you're doing. We are so excited to officially unveil this mural today. 8,205 games were played by the San Diego Padres in the history of our Major League franchise before we achieved our first no-hitter. If you talk to Joe, he'll be quick to tell you that pitchers don't throw a no-hitter in a vacuum. It's with a team behind him. And he sees this as a team accomplishment. And even though you see Joe on this mural and the significance of the hometown kid 
from Grossmont High doing something that had never been done before in San Diego to the delight of our Padres fans. It's a special story, but it's also a team accomplishment. So we want to encourage all of our Padres fans that have a ticket to our game on Friday night, arrive early. We're going to open gates two hours before first pitch. Make sure you get in your seat early because we're going to have a very special ceremony honoring the accomplishment of the first no-hitter, honoring Joe, his story as a hometown kid, and more importantly, the Padres team that accomplished that feat. So with that, I want to welcome up Principal Barnes and uh, ask him to face, say a few words about Joe, what he means to the community in this school. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gruppner. Appreciate that. Before I became principal of Grossmont High School, I was assistant principal in charge of athletics here. So I was also fortunate to see Joe find success in baseball. And as principal for the last 10 years, it's been an incredible watching him continue his success in the major leagues. He's an amazing representative of a great school and baseball program. And I have to say this with a county leading 13 CIF championships. I'm a proud principal. <laughs> One of my favorite things though about Joe, like we've already heard, is that he, is reg he regularly visits our campus because he truly cares about our student athletes and our community. We're so very proud of Joe making history for our city and the Padres with this no-hitter performance this last Friday. Minutes, literally minutes, after the final out, the Padres reached out to us about commemorating this historic moment with a mural at our school. And we were honored to be part of making this idea come to life. I'd like to thank Daryl Mendoza with the Padres organization who made that call and was here with me early Saturday morning and whose assistance was absolutely essential in making this happen. This mural is not only a great way to celebrate our Foothiller community, but it is truly a celebration for all of San Diego as we celebrate as Padre fans such a special moment in the Padres history. And we are honored at Grossmont High School to be a part of the celebration. This mural you see behind me was tirelessly worked on, like we heard, through the night by these amazing, amazing artists who are here today. So Paul and Senya, I don't think you send us here. Thank you for the amazing work on this beautiful piece of art. I would like to introduce Paul Jimenez. Hello. Thank you, everybody. This is pretty new to me, so bear with me. <laughs> um, yeah, like they're all saying that this uh, this was honestly, like it says, it was meant to be. It really felt that way. Uh, coming together was such a collaborative effort. Um, from, you know, when we first did the Tony Gwynn mural, uh, we were in contact with the Padres ever since, and um, just the, their their trust and faith in us really just means so much to us. Um, so for them to reach out to us, even as as the no hitter was was happening, to, to to get ready and get in our car, get our paint ready to go, and then um, the next morning we started, and, and and it couldn't have happened without. Uh, the Padres working so fast and Grossmont, Grossmont High School working so fast as well. You know, we got here and it was just such a nice environment. You know, they were, they were ready to get us a lift and, and, and they were trying to do everything they could to, to make sure that we can get this mural painted as fast as possible. Um, so we're just so grateful. Um, Principal Barnes, Superintendent Kemper, uh, we, 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 really, we really can't thank you enough for, for believing in us and in believing in this, this mural. Um, it, it, was, it was just it was a it was a beautiful 48 hours. I think we slept like four four hours after the first <laughs> night, and then and then we came right back in the morning to finish and um, getting to meet the the family and then FaceTiming Joe. It was just like it was perfect. It, it all came together so well. It was such a collaborative effort. Um, I want to thank Yesenia for the lettering work. Um, she does an amazing job. I want to thank Sina, my partner, for doing as much as I do on this project. And I want to thank Daryl for, for hanging out this whole time. And, and we literally spent like that whole time together. He brought us pizza, and he, it was just it was just it was just such a nice time. It was, and he's wearing the shirt because he's totally a member now at this point. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you to everybody and thank you to San Diego. Um, you know, the response has been amazing, and as an artist, you just, just our work being seen, it just means so much to us, and for us to be able to commemorate such a historic event, um, you know, it's an honor. So, so I, uh, I just want to say thank you to the city, and thank you to, yeah, just San Diego. You know, I'm from here as well, I grew, born and raised, and, and this, this is a dream come true. So thank you very much, everybody.
thank you again, everyone coming to celebrate Joe Musgrove, the Padres, to recognize Joe's historic achievement and to share in the joy that he's brought to our community ever since he was a foothiller. Colin, would you like to come up with any further information? Thank you, Superintendent Kemper. Um, so today's speakers will now be available for one-on-one -on -one interviews. And so if you'd like to speak with the Padres Chief Executive Officer, Eric Gruppner, please see Craig Huner with the Padres. Craig, raise your hand. And Daryl Mendoza, who's been mentioned, uh, ha will support uh, Paul and ground floor murals with interview facilitation. Thank you all for coming to Grossmont High School, and uh, we hope you have a great day. You've done, you've done television before, yeah. right, dude? Okay, well, there we go.